This is the easiest system.io pixel tutorial on YouTube. Now, I will show you in the easiest steps on how to set up a Facebook pixel for your system.io pages. This process is about the same if you also want to set up pixel for WordPress, Shopify, ClickFunnels and other popular content management systems. If you are on my channel for the first time, then welcome to Circles Digital where I break down technical setup in the most embarrassingly simplest and easy step-by-step -step guide. So you should subscribe to this channel. I also teach marketing tutorials, make money online, keyword and SEO tips for marketing here. Okay, without any more talks, let me show you every step of setting up Facebook Pixel for your system.io pages and also very relevant if it's WordPress or Shopify pages you want to install your pixel on. So, to successfully set up a Facebook pixel, I have broken down the whole steps into four simple stages which are number one, creating a pixel on Facebook, number two, installing a pixel on system.io page, Number three, setting up pixel event for our system.io pages from Facebook business account. Number four, adding our new pixel to our preferred Facebook ad account. And number five, assigning ourselves the admin role so that we can have this pixel available on our Facebook ad account to use anytime. So let's head over to step one. Log in to your Facebook Business Manager by typing in business.facebook.com on your browser, All Tools, Ad Manager, I will come to this menu tab and click Business Settings, I will check out for data sources here. Click the drop down arrow and click pixels. Okay, here I already have some pixels created before now. If you also have created one or more in the past and you want to use one of them, then click the one you want to use and continue the process with me. But for the sake of people who have never used a pixel before, I will be creating a new one. Just make sure you don't create too many pixels because I don't think you can delete pixels in Facebook and having too many pixels created can be confusing. So to create a pixel, click the blue add button. I will give my pixel a name. Continue. Set up the pixel now. Manually add the pixel code to website. This might be a little bit different if you're already used to installing pixel on WordPress, but don't worry, this is also very simple. Come to this code area and click it. Once you click, it will automatically copy to your clipboard. Turn on automatic advanced matching. We will be coming back here, but for now, click continue. So, I will come over to my system account, funnels, I will locate the page I want to install my pixel on and click it. I will click the edit button. Settings. Scroll down and come to tracking. Click the drop down arrow. Since the purpose of my home page is to build an email list, I will select lead for my tracking purpose. You should choose your own. Edit header code. Click the line one and then paste the code we copied from Facebook here. Make sure you don't touch anything here and just click save. Save changes. 
our pixel has been set in system and so we can exit this page what I will do now is to go to test this pixel if it is working usually in less than one minute it should be active so let's head back to Facebook to test if our pixel is working so I will come here to the URL of the page that I just installed my pixel on and copy it I will come back to this box and paste the link in here. You can see the red no activity yet indicator here. We expect it to turn green if our pixel is firing correctly. So I will click this send test traffic button. I will head back to the test page. And as you can see, it turns green, indicating that our pixel is firing correctly. Our pixel is working fine at this point, so I will just go ahead and set up events for my system page. This is our next step. So to do that, click continue here. Click this tab. Again, pasting the URL of the system page that we just installed a pixel on here. Open website. Here we are on the system page and as you can see, a Facebook event tracking pop-up has shown up. I will be setting up a lead event tracking for this button. Click track new button. Click the button. Select an event, I will go for leads. I will leave the value out and click continue. As you can see here, our lead event is now active and so anyone who click this button will be picked up by my pixel for my record and further actions. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel and please if you are getting values from this video then support me by clicking the like button. All right, finish setup. Finish. I will skip this. You can also test this event or just close it. Now, you might be surprised that if you go to run your conversion ad on Facebook, you might not find this pixel on your ad account. That will be because you are here to add it up to that particular ad account. If you don't, then you won't be able to use this pixel. So, Let's add this pixel to our preferred ad account so that we can use that ad account to run our conversion ad. Come to connected assets here. As you can see, no asset has been connected yet. So let's connect our ad account. Add assets. Select your ad account and click add. Done. If I go to my ad account, this pixel will now be available to use. Finally, I'll be adding myself as an admin so I can access this pixel. This is the final step to setting up our pixel on Facebook. So come to people. Add people. This is me, so I will select and toggle on the full control option. Assign, done. So I will come over to my ad account and you will see that my pixel has appeared and is available to use for my ad campaign. This is my newly configured pixel here. So this is all you need to know about setting up your Facebook pixel on your system.io page. Though we use system.io for this demonstration, but it's almost the same process when setting up pixel for other content management systems like WordPress, Shopify, ClickFunnels and other popular web pages. Please if you enjoyed this video then reward it with a like and subscribe to this channel if you want more interesting tutorials like this where I make technical setup very easy to understand and to do it yourself. 
I also create videos on marketing, SEO, and make money online tips every week. Thank you for choosing to watch my video and watch out for the next.